Welcome again to another Robots episode. In this video, we will showcase a robotic palletizing cell with two collaborative robots. Here, one of the collaborative robots is sorting small boxes, and the other one is palletizing the big boxes. Now, let's talk about the control. Here in the Siemens HMI, we have the usual operating panel with automatic manual mode, start, stop, emergency, and reset. In addition, we can see how many boxes have been palletized, and if it reaches the maximum, it will ask you to replace the pallet. Once you replace the pallet, you will need to click the button to keep palletizing. Underneath, you can indicate the number of boxes that there are in the conveyor. It is not explicitly needed, since we know how many boxes the robot has palletized, but in this example, we are stopping the process after it palletizes the number inputted. So let's see how it works and run the sample program. This is the program that we saw at the start. Here we have a universal robot UR3 CB series with a camera from OnRobot. It's called OnRobot Eyes. And this camera will analyze if the box is small or big, and it will separate it from the rest if it's small. And if it's a big one, like this brown one, it will let it go through. And the Yaskawa HC10 with the OnRobot VG10 electric vacuum gripper will palletize the big box. Technically, both of them could be sorting different types of items or palletizing different types of boxes, but it all depends on the programming. The more advanced or the more intelligent, the more you can do. But as always, it always comes down to time, money, and knowledge or other type of resources. And as I said, they could be sorting all types of uh, items. The robot on the right, the UR3, has a soft gripper, so it could be also sorting like food products or fragile products like glass. And the Yaskawa, if we change the gripper, it could also be handling other type of uh, materials, products, items, instead of just boxes, because this one just suctions and it's very useful for boxes or other like flat surfaces. Now, if you're not familiar with collaborative robots, they are robots that can work near people. Basically, if you invade their workspace, it's not as dangerous as an industrial robot. The robot will hit you, and it still hurts. But they are pre-configured to not exceed some speeds or forces. And they have more security limitations, such as different speeds in different working ranges and areas, or security planes where the robot avoids moving out of the plane, and so on. Here you have the program running. On the bottom left, you can view the screens of both of the teach pendants. On the left, you have the Jaskawa program, and on the right, you can see the UR program with the own robot camera. In this project, there are a few things that are not shown. For example, the PLC and the communication gateway. The PLC used is a Siemens S7-1500, and they are all connected through a Profinet network. However, our Yaskawa robot only has Ethernet IP. So what we've done is use a Raspberry Pi 4 and CodeSys. This program allows the Raspberry Pi to act as a PLC or a gateway. This has allowed us to communicate both buses and share some memory addresses. In other words, we've shared some memory address, inputs and outputs from the Yaskawa controller to the Raspberry Pi through Ethernet IP. And with the same connector, we've connected the Raspberry Pi through Profinet with our PLC and our network. Then we added the GSD to our TIA portal project and mapped the inputs and outputs of our Raspberry Pi into our PLC. And the universal robot has Profinet slave included in the software, so it's already connected to the network. If you want to know how to connect the UR to Profinet, watch our previous video. And as always, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any doubts, comments, or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you want to see the programs of the robots or the TIA portal project, I will make a blog post on our official website. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for your support. See you in the next video.